Hi again, uh, my name is Ismail Nafi. I work for the UNICEF Global Innovation Center. Um, in this video, I will talk briefly about the uh, mapping component in Rapid Pro. Um, I've seen some colleagues are having a little bit of difficulty with that. Uh, so I'll try to explain uh, how it works uh, briefly in this video. Um, um, to access the mapping uh, details um, in Rapid Pro, you have first to go to the account details. So if you were to click this link here, it, you will see this page. Uh, so here on this page, um, somewhere in the middle, you will see the uh, location details. So as you can see here, there are quite a number of uh, countries for which the uh, mapping component is enabled. Um, in this example is South Africa and I'm using the, uh, the Rapid Pro account for you report um, in South Africa by the way. Um, so here I leave it uh, South Africa and if I want to see uh, the mapping details currently available in this account I would uh, just click on edit aliases. Once you click on uh, edit aliases you will see uh, this page. So here we can see um, the um, the uh, provinces in South Africa um, and as you may know previously we had two levels in Rapid Pro for mapping uh, but since recently there is a third level that has been added which we will show also in this uh, example. Um, so the highest level in, in, in this account is, um, is province. Um, so if I click on the Eastern um, Cape province um, I will see all the districts in, uh, in that particular province. Uh, and one thing you can do here, and which is really uh, important, is to add aliases for this province. So instead of people uh, submitting Eastern Cape, they could, could also um, submit Easter or Eastern or any other alias you want to add, which matches more or less uh, this particular name. Uh, this allows also for for uh, misspelled responses and things like that. So you would want to do that for each particular district. Um, so here, uh, if I click, um, so these are, as I said, the districts in this particular um, province. So if I click on uh, this district, um, again, uh, the same logic here, we can uh, add uh, aliases to cater for, uh, for uh, wrongly spelled uh, responses uh, and here we can see the uh, municipalities in this particular district so again here you can add uh, aliases for these uh, for this level so this is the third level uh, so this is the first thing you need to do if you want to enable mapping in Rapid Pro. Of course, the, the, uh, the, the information has to be um, imported or available here. Uh, and uh, once you have a contract with the vendor, they will, they will make sure that the data is imported. Um, now we want to test how that works. So I created a flow here. And this flow asks uh, three questions. It asks for the province, it asks for uh, the district, and it asks for the municipality. Um, so the first question here, we say, what's, the, uh, what's your province? And then we are um, expecting uh, the, uh, well, a response uh, with, with the province name. Um, and here, as you can see, this is something I, I explained already in the registration flow for your report, but uh, I'll just uh, talk about it briefly here. So you can see here the three levels that we are talking about. So we have a, it's called state. This is how it's uh, named in Rapid Pro, but in our case it um, corresponds with the uh, with the province. So here we have state, we have district, and ward ward is a municipality in this example. So we choose state because this is the highest level uh, uh, available in uh, in this instance. So we say. Um, state and then we save it as province and we save also the result a, as, uh, as a province. So once we, uh, we get that province and it is matched, uh, again it compares also against the aliases that we've added, uh, we ask the second question uh, which is uh, what's your district and at the same time we, we are adding or saving the province uh, information to the contact field called province and we are uh, saving the ad flow province which is the response in the previous box. 
Um, and here when we ask for district, uh, again here we select district, but as, we, as you can see we've, uh, we, here you have to specify which province this district uh, uh, lies in. Uh, this uh, to avoid uh, you know uh, confusion about uh, maybe uh, this uh, multiple uh, or multiple districts with the same name uh, uh, lying in different states. So here we basically tell Rapid Pro uh, look for uh, districts in this pa particular province, um, and then um, we uh, we ask for a municipality. Uh, we update the um, uh, the uh, value for for the contact field uh, for district with the add flow district, and then when it comes to uh, uh, so if someone uh, submits the third level, which is the municipality, um, here you have to specify again. I mean, this is the third uh, level for mapping, and then you have to specify. You can say, I want to look uh, in this particular district uh, province. Sorry. And the um, the um, the sorry the district. So here you say in this province and in this district, uh, I, w I want to to check the response that just came in, and if there is a match, I will save it as municipality. So once OK, you save the municipality to the contact field here. Um, and it's always good that uh, to test it. Uh, before you use it. So here I will just use the simulator. So I go just up here and then it will ask, uh, at, well you can see I've, um, I tested it already here. So I'll just uh, test it again. So in this case, um, well I refresh and it asks for um, my province. Well, I will even misspell it here. I'll just uh, write Easter. So it will compare it with the list including um, aliases and district again I'll just enter Alfred and not the full name um, and then finally the um, the um, uh, municipality and I can't remember that name I can just copy it here I'll just copy this one and I give it as a response and then in the end as you can see, I've added uh, a message which displays all the information that I submitted. So here, the submitted in info. Uh, so this is the province, Eastern Cape. You remember, I just entered Easter, but it returns the full name. The same for the district. I just entered uh, Alfred and the same for municipality. So this is the full name of the municipality. Um, that's it. Um, any questions, you can always um, post them on the uh, user forum. Uh, on Google uh, or you can reach us uh, directly um, through email. Bye.